The lymphatic system carries a fluid around your body called lymph... ...which mainly contains white blood cells Damn. and fights infections such as flu, mononucleosis and grayscale. Finally, there's the nervous system, which is a bit like the internet of your body, but without the porn. It's composed of your central nervous system, which is your brain... That's kind of cap. Hold on. Because, again, when it comes to the imagination... Um... Let's move on. <laughs> you're welcome. Uh, uh, you're welcome. Uh. Here's another glimpse in the life of Mr. Seldom. On a mission to heaven so he can tell me well done. well done. He got all my secrets. He promised he never tell none. You're welcome. There's no other feeling like it. What's good, everybody? It's Jamal Hockey, channel dedicated to helping individuals unlock the will to conquer imagination. And if you truly believe in so, as well as the content being posted here on this channel, then we can indeed help turn the you that's you into something that's more valuable. Now, we about to do another reaction video. I know you see the title. Listen, man, we're going to be doing a reaction video to how to build a human. What? Right. Again, as you, if you really rock with the content, then you know what I'm doing over here, right? If it's something pertaining to some type of education, we're going to bring in that, mix it with the entertainment to make edutainment, right? Salat, salate, salate. Bro, what are you talking about, man? So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get ready to jump into this video. Let's go. All the blood vessels in your body How to end, build. reach about 60,000 miles, wrapping around the earth at least twice, and... Whoa, 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 slow down. Jesus Christ, you haven't even been born yet. Let's begin at the beginning, huh? Come on, back okay. to go. Past all your childhood rubbish. Try not to freak out. But you're about to be How to build a human. Don't worry, it won't last long. Pause for hmm. suspense. And ah, there it is. Out of roughly a hundred million Perfect. one gets through and fertilizes okay. mothers, creating a zygote. So here's the point. If you made it at this point right now in the video, congratulations. You were successful in beating out the all the other sperm to the egg. You're a champion. So if you ever say, damn, I never succeeded at anything, you know what I'm gonna say? Nope. You have succeeded at something. You were born. So don't be stupid. You beat out all the other sperm and you became a child. There you go. And congratulations. That was probably the most remarkable thing you will ever do. Within about a day, the egg or blast assist or life wrecker starts dividing like crazy. <laughs> life life wrecker. Inside of the womb called the endometrium. Give it about three weeks and the little sucker already has nerve cells. By about month two, you have little gravy bits and walkie bits. And you already sort of resemble a human <laughs> at about an inch long and a 30 Wow. That's a good job. By about month five, your muscles are fairly developed and you might start jiggling about in a medical process known as womb raving. By month seven, your hearing is working and you're about 14 inches long. And by month nine, hopefully all systems are online. Vision, check. Movement, check. Check. More sense that you know better than your parents for the next 25 years, despite total ignorance on literally all matters. <laughs> Double check. Hey, this is funny. Well, perfect. Welcome to life. Get lots of sunlight. Don't eat the yellow snow. Off you go then. Good luck. You'll f hit. Get the sunlight. Don't hit. Don't eat the yellow snow. What the hell? I don't know if a child has to worry about that. Maybe. Fucking need it. And gosh, is your body clever? You're probably made of at least 30 trillion. How much do you want that? So snow. Off you go then. Good luck. You'll fucking need it. And gosh, wow. is your body clever? You're probably made of at least 30 trillion cells, which come in about 200 flavors. For example, white blood cells, neurons, fat cells, red blood cells, somatotropes, lactotropes, thyrotropes, TV tropes, Merkel cells, alpha T cells, <laughs> TV cells, tropes, cells, unipolar brush cells, relative and absolute <laughs> cells, and gametes. And then there is spermatozoon, which was only included because when I discovered the word about a week ago, I almost dirtied my undergarments. Spermatozoon. Sometimes cells collect into <laughs> organs directed by DNA. Organs form systems. There are about 10 systems going on all at once in your body. Nasty stuff first. There's the renal system, which is made up of Set, the kidneys. Say nasty stuff first. Lots of organs have multi-purpose roles But we mainly just deal with piss Except me, because I have no obvious function in the body besides getting infected and killing you Fuck off a pen <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I ain't gonna lie Appendants have no role in the body outside of just like straight up just getting inflamed, bruh Oh my goodness, literally my appendix wins <laughs> 
because I got them hoes removed. Your boy was chugga lugga lugging them sodas um, in elementary school. So I definitely had some surgery done on myself. So um, I definitely relate to this clip. Next. The kidneys fill to blood of nasties, which can then be expelled from your body and left on the mm -hmm. toilet seat for the next poor person at the bar to come in and find and get blamed for if he doesn't clean it up. Prick. There's the cardiovascular <laughs> slash circulatory system, which gets blood from A to B and back again. What is blood exactly? Well, I'm glad you asked. Red and complicated. It isn't ever blue when it's in your veins, by the way. That's bollocks. One regular passenger on the ground, <laughs> on the ground is oxygen. The lungs absorb oxygen Perfect. down through the bronchioles into about 300 million alveoli and then into the blood. Your heart keeps the blood flowing. So pretty much... If you have if you don't know already in terms of what's happening in the video, he's basically just explaining anatomy and physiology to people. So if anyone hasn't ever taken like anatomy and physiology class, some of this concepts of what he's talking about is gonna be born. But when it comes to the actual human body again, hum, anatomy and physiology, he's pretty much doing it in a very funny inter edutainment round uh not a roundabout way. But from like beginning to human, right? As he already started the video, the egg, uh, the sperm meets the egg. From there, there's this process in terms of the how the fetus is then formed inside the mother's womb um, when the baby is born. He doesn't go too deep into like the nuance of things. For example, he doesn't talk about like when the baby comes out the womb, what the mother has to do to protect the child. Um, you know, to provide for uh, its survival, you know, burping the baby, making sure the, uh, you know, the uh, the uh, oropharynx is not clogged or anything because the baby is not able to breathe out of its nose when it first gets out the womb. It doesn't really dive into those things. Shouts out to my, you know, my OB knowledge that I learned, you know what I'm saying? Oh! But... It doesn't dive into that, but now he's going into systems within the body. So he started with the kidneys. Now he's on the cardiovascular system. And next I can probably safely assume he's going to go to maybe the lungs. I'm assuming he's going to do lungs next. Just my head. Just my hunch. Around 1800 gallons of the stuff every day and supply cells with oxygen, which is basically how they release energy and do their thing. However, your cells also need foods. Digestion begins in the mouth with saliva, which is full of an enzyme called amylase. It then takes a little okay. trip to the stomach where it's dissolved by more enzymes, namely pepsin. The first recorded removal of an appendix was in 1735 by an Oh my god, you're such a cock. Enzymes are the cocaine of yeah, it's funny. Again, uh, when it comes to uh, certain enzymes being released, um, I could be wrong, but this is why the pancreas is as important as it is, because without it, you're not able to kind of um, break down certain foods within the body. No. Nope. Shouts out to the pancreas. Of digestion they speed things up then food is attacked by acids which break it down mostly into glucose it moves into the intestines which you have about 25 feet or seven meters of and passes into the blood your pancreas releases insulin accordingly which tells your cells to stop mucking about and actually absorb the glucose and you know like keep you alive and shit please which it does and if you're watching this then congratulations you are in fact still alive and that's also thanks <laughs> to vitamins vitamins are essential for humaning but your body is vitamins take vitamin c for example for some reason, humans can't produce it themselves, and when you don't get enough, you get other stuff instead, like scurvy, or dead, or most likely, both. <laughs> Vitamin B1 is God also You only need roughly an ounce spread across your lifetime, which is about 28 grams, or as I like to call it, a fun evening in. 28 grams is nothing. Oh my goodness. Years, but if you don't get it, you'll be rewarded with a number of achievements, including chronic fatigue, heart complications, and psychosis. Lovely. Then there is the endocrine. So let's let's run that back. Like to call it a fun evening in. Twenty eight grams is nothing over eighty years, but if you don't get it, you'll be rewarded with a number of achievements. So reason why this is super important when it comes to vitamin B one. Again, for me, when I work at my facility, um, I'm a psychiatric mental health nurse, and reason why this is super important is because you have to make sure you're getting your vitamins. So much to the point where when people come in for like alcohol reasons, um, they're on a protocol. One of the main things we do is we not only give them volume to prevent them from going through withdrawal symptoms, but we also give them 
vitamins as well to replenish what has been lost or what is missing from um from their body based off of labs that we drew up right we 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 draw their blood and we see their labs the metabolic panel super important uh i do believe vitamin b1 thiamine thiamine regardless make sure you get that stuff in your diet through natural sources or just take a pill achievements including chronic fatigue heart complications and psychosis lovely then there is the endocrine system not to be confused with the exocrine or endor system this produces hormones <laughs> hormones tell your body to do pretty much everything from sleep to sexy times and imbalances can make you a seriously sad panda then there's the integumentary system which is basically skin and protective tissue mm -hmm. skin is an organ too by the way the muscular slash skeletal system yep. fairly self-explanatory well not really there just aren't that many orthopedic jokes to be quite honest with you there's the reproductive system which is in between your legs i don't know you can actually make some jokes with the musculoskeletal system mm. i don't think he tried no i don't think he tried hard enough you know he ain't tried hard enough and for making the babies and oh what's that it's a sternly worded email from youtube insisting if i talk about dicks again i won't have a chance <laughs> On. There's the respiratory system, which we kind of covered. Respiratory. The lymphatic system carries a fluid around your body called lymph. <laughs> which mainly contains white blood the cells hell? and fights infections such as flu, mononucleosis, and grayscale. Finally, there's the nervous system, which is a bit like the internet of your body, but without the porn. It's composed of your central nervous system, which is your brain. That's kind of cap. Hold on. <laughs> Because, again, when it comes to the imagination, um, let's move on. Bruh. Spinal column and the peripheral nervous system, which carries the signals in between and gets about as much credit as the drama of news, even though they're both essential for hysteria. However, the <laughs> is made up of firstly the parasympathetic nervous system, which takes care of business when everything's chill, and the sympathetic nervous system, which uh -huh. the blood with adrenaline when shit's going down, or you happen to find yourself flying whiz air sober. Anyway, other notable mentions include Moon Liver Oh, oh my goodness as well as breaking down fats and keeping blood sugar stable. Then there's Charles de Gallbladder, who stores bile from the liver. Antibodies, or immunoglobulin, are pretty clever. They're produced by white blood cells, and they fight off bacteria and viruses. There are five main types. Igm, igi, ga, You know, to be fair, whenever I've seen that stuff, studying anatomy and physiology, or, or any course that had us studying that, whether it's a pathophysiology, Pa uh, pathophysiology or something I would probably I did the same thing I'm not gonna lie brain is clever no really it is 100 billion neurons and 100 trillion synapses or connections between them mm. just for a bit of perspective a billion seconds is 31 years a trillion seconds is about 31,000 years so that's quite a few synapses yeah oh my so goodness the visual cortex the auditory cortex and this bit the prefrontal cortex among other things regulates you not being a fucking idiot and impulse probably explaining yep. the of your questionable life so reason why i i've talked about this before in some other videos i do believe maybe now on this channel but the pre the prefrontal cort cortex or you could say the frontal lobe right or like basically he's pretty much breaking down cortexes within regions of the brain right you got the audi auditory cortex which is you could say the um temporal lobe right per, per uh par parietal per whatever it starts with a p anyways frontal lobe prefrontal cortex super important judgment reasoning um um how a person is able to reason with certain things um how i think their awareness and stuff um reason why this is important because as he just made a note of it doesn't fully mature the same as how the brain doesn't technically fully matures to about the age of 25 yet we have things in place where you know us as humans depending on where you live the legal age for let's say drinking alcohol is like 21 you know in the united states but other places it's like 16 or 18 and then the legal age for uh driving and then you have the legal age for smoking a cigarette basically we have all these conventions to allow for us to um sign off or allow for us to consent for ourselves 
to make decisions on things that can be very vital for us but yet the brain in itself doesn't fully mature to 25 so there have been people who made arguments to say hey shouldn't these rights and opportunities and all this stuff be decided when the brain fully matures there's an argument that can be made right there you feel me perfect decisions prior to that anything afterwards i'm afraid you were probably just being a bell end there's also the consciousness cortex explaining where sentience comes from not but all the same in a way we're not even close to explaining yet all these cells and electrical impulses mm. somehow come together to create a unified sense of you and if i may say so what a lovely job they're doing so far so that's your body sort of not really but sort of cheers evolution anytime bitch could do with a well. bit of fixing though conversion two can we please get rid of hiccups uh morning breath throwing up a bit in your own mouth <laughs> sharting and untimely sharting that'd be great still not a bad piece of engineering lots of systems running parallel maintaining okay. cell regeneration trying to trick you into making babies until it all goes wrong somewhere down the line ending in oblivion so in the meantime how about go for a walk or something buy a boat do a hand or something smell the roses <laughs> actually yeah we forgot about that one the nose is really quite complicated and is an extremely important appendage compared to no i i said appendage like oh fuck i'm so tired of your shit <laughs> Excellent video. Excellent video. Oh! I mean, here's the thing. If he was going to talk about, like, the nose, like, actual structures, I mean, technically, he really didn't really go into, like, eyes, the ocular system, nose, uh, mouth. I mean, he could he kind of could have connected that to the respiratory. Again, it's it's meant to be funny. It's still a formative at the same time. I, I, I think that's the main point. Not to be like, whoa, he didn't talk about this pertaining to the body. You know, it ain't, it ain't about that. Stupid. Right? Don't be stupid, people. So, um, that was pretty much it for the video. Again, one of my favorite parts is to, when, whenever the brain gets talked about, I like stuff like that. Once again, neuroplasticity. If you're not familiar with neuroplasticity, neuroplasticity, that pretty much states to us that... When it comes to things that we do, the habits that we have built and learned and the things we've, um, the, the repetition of a thought, the repetition of a feeling, the repetition of a habit, to, uh, the repetition of an action to now form a habit, that is going to somewhat remain with us, then leading into what is then known as neuroplasticity. Neuro, the brain, plasticity, right, it tells us how plastic something is. There are things within our body, right? Plasticity meaning it's the ability for the warp change or to, um, you know, I guess the development of it, the alteration of it. The brain is very hard for it to be plastic in itself, um, but it's still possible. And the reason why it's important because at 25, it's also stated that basically who you are as an individual when it comes to you changing developing or becoming a whole new person it is solely on you once you hit the age of 25 and above it is solely on you i'm not gonna make that a big deal in this video we're gonna talk about it later in another video so without further ado that's pretty much it for how to build a human right if you liked everything that you see man make sure you leave a like comment subscribe do all the good stuff hit the bell to be notified until then i look forward to talking to you guys on the next video if you if there's anything else you want me to check out anything else you want me to react to definitely leave it in the comment section it's your boy jamal hockey channel dedicated to helping individuals unlock the will to conquer imagination so without further ado i'm gonna see you guys in the next video so peace out oh, it's the act of god i used to act the fool but now i act the movies actually i'm just making moves we still making music tell you about my past to secure my future i'm all in my bag flow like a computer that's a humble brag uh.